Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get started with Microsoft Excel. So um, this is for Windows. And uh, so if you just want to start Excel, typically you'll have Excel on your toolbar over here. Uh, so you can just click on it. Or if you don't have it here, you can always type it in into the search box here and just type Excel. Uh, and then you will see uh, Excel uh, over here. Then you can just click on it and open it. So you can just pick any one option. So as soon as you open your Excel software, you should see an interface like this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open a new file. And there are many options here. So you can either open a blank workbook or, or you can open a template, uh, something like this. And you can see a bunch of templates. You can either, you can see some business templates or you can see or if you want to create a personal template, there's a lot of personal templates available as well. So you can actually click on any one of these and get started. But uh, what we'll do for now is we'll go back to uh, the basic Excel. So what you need to do then is to click on a blank workbook. So I'm just going to double click on that. And so that brings us to a screen such as this. Um, so what do we have here? So we'll just do an initial walkthrough, just understand the layout of Excel. So what we have at the very top are a bunch of uh, tabs. So you have a file tab, um, which brings us back to the original screen from which we selected the blank workbook. And then we have the home tab, which is the main tab that contains a bunch of options here, insert page layout formulas and so on. So there's all these tabs. Now, if you click on any one tab uh, that opens a ribbon so this entire thing is called a ribbon and uh, within each ribbon and every tab has its own ribbon with, with a very different set of options and uh, so if you click on any one uh, one tab and you look at the ribbons each ribbon has a bunch of uh, groups so for example the home ribbon has a clipboard clipboard group and has a font group it's an alignment group and so on and uh, this is another way to kind of group together or categorize the different functions that can be done. So for example, the font group over here has a bunch of different buttons or options for affecting the formatting of your Excel spreadsheet. So within uh, some of these uh, groups, uh, sometimes you have a launch button. So this is at the corner, bottom corner, you have a launch button. So you can click on one of these and you will see some more options okay so you'll see some more options here that could not be fitted in the uh, ribbon at the top over here so uh, once again so we have tabs and within a tab we have ribbon uh, a ribbon for each tab and within each ribbon we have multiple groups and within groups we also have uh, a launch button now coming to the spreadsheet itself so the spreadsheet is basically a bunch of um, cells that consists of rows and columns of cells now um, how long is this how big is this it, it just keeps going so for example if i look at my columns it keeps going and keeps going 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 so at some point it it goes up to uh, the letter z but beyond that it says a a b b and just keeps going uh, likewise the rows also you can keep scrolling down and it keeps going for as much as you want now a cell is a fundamental unit of Excel. So what a cell is basically an intersection of a column and a row. So the cell here that I'm pointing to is, uh, every cell has a name. So the cell here I'm, that I'm pointing to is referred to as C2. Okay, the cell is known as C2. And you can see the cell name over here. Uh, it has a cell name C2. Uh, you can click on some other cell. This is F8 and you'll see the name F8 over here. You can select a range of cells. So for example, this here is a range of cells. And the way you would uh, refer to this range of cells is by referring to the first top left corner cell and the bottom right corner cell. So you refer to D4 through G10. So this cell range is basically D4 through G10. You could write this as uh, something like this. You could basically write this as D4 through G10. So if you just wrote it like that, then you can see that that particular cell range is highlighted. Then we come to 
sheets. So what you see here is a worksheet or a sheet. So at the bottom of your Excel spreadsheet, you can see information about the sheet. So here's we, uh, by default, it says sheet one. You can create another sheet two by just clicking on this plus button here and sheet three and so on. And uh, so these are called worksheets and all these worksheets together make up your spreadsheet. So that's basically how uh, this is all organized. Another thing you can do is you can also um, go over to the bottom right corner and you can zoom in or zoom out. You can increase the size of these cells or you can decrease the size of these cells as per your wish. So I'm just going to increase the size a little bit so that we can see things more clearly and uh, just get back to our Excel spreadsheet. Now, one of the first things that you might want to do after creating your spreadsheet is to start entering data on it. So what we'll do is we'll just enter a fictitious grocery list. So let's say you want to create a spreadsheet uh, to keep track of your groceries. I'm going to just call this groceries list. And let's say uh, I put in a bunch of columns here. I can just uh, click on any one cell and just start typing. So that's what I did. I just, uh, you know, I clicked on a cell. So I'm clicking on cell A2 and I start typing. So I just call it date and then I call it uh, item and then I say price then I say quantity uh, total amount so like this okay so I have a bunch of uh, fields here and I can just start adding numbers to it so I can just enter let's say uh, 6 1 2020 so that's a date that I can enter and item is eggs and the price per uh, box is three dollars um, and the quantity is uh, let's say I got four of these and my total amount is now I just want to illustrate a simple um, you know uh, feature that Excel has which among many that make it very powerful which is that you can take two uh, cells and you can multiply them together so I can do something like this I can say equals and I can say I can just point and click at D3 and I can put star and then I can point and click at C3 and now equals D3 times C3 will give me the total amount that I've spent uh, on eggs at the rate of $3 per unit and four such units. Now I'll go ahead and enter some more items. So for example, uh, 6 2 2020, maybe I bought bread and I bought, uh, let's say $2 and let's say about three units and now I can once again type the formula this times this but instead of doing that I'm just going to click escape to escape whatever I try to type now it becomes blank instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the previous formula and I'm going to drag it down so I'm just going to drag it down like this now the beautiful thing about Excel is that Excel realizes that the formula here, which is, you can see here, D3 times C3, when you bring it down here, it needs to become D4 times C4. So when you drag the formula down, the uh, the number three in your formula changes to uh, number four. So here you have D3 times C3, and that becomes D4 times C4. So that's uh, another very powerful feature of Excel. As you saw me doing, you can move around uh, different fields by your arrows or you can just press the up arrow, down arrow and that way you can move around. Uh, if you go to any particular cell and start typing, then whatever you type in will be entered in that particular cell. So let me just enter some more data here. So I've entered some more data here. So uh, milk, cereal and chips and I need to enter the uh, total amount for that. So what I can do is now I can just click on the previous link that contains my formula and I can click on the um, on the bottom right corner there's a small dot a square dot I can just click on the plus sign so if I, if I hover my mouse on top of that my mouse becomes a plus sign and I can then just double click on it and the formula gets copied all the way down so Excel will nicely multiply these two figures and put the value there now if I want to edit any one particular cell I can just uh, it won't help to just point on it and edit if I try to point on it and edit it's uh, going to just um, so you know uh, 
supposing for for example for serial i want to say call it serials i just want to put an s so if i just put an s it's going to just overwrite whatever is there so instead what you have to do is if you want to edit a particular cell you'll have to double click into it so when you double click into it then you're going to see um, a cursor and then you can take your cursor to wherever and then you can edit uh, that particular cell uh, the same thing goes for numbers so uh, excuse me so here so for 4.5 supposing I just want to change it like this so I can change it and the formula will automatically modify the numbers so that's another neat thing so we have uh, seen how to enter data the next thing is we want to make this data look a little prettier a little bit uh, nicer we want to format this so um, the main place where you would format is uh, in the home tab within the home tab we'll take a look at some of all these different features for formatting so the first thing i want to do is i want to make this groceries list um, extend all the way till here so what i can do is i can just select all these five cells a b c d e i just click on the a cell so i click on the a1 cell and then i keep the mouse pressed and then i drag all the way to the right till e and then you can go to alignment uh, the alignment group within your home ribbon and you click on this merge and center button over here if you click on the merge and center button it does a couple of things number one it merges the five cells into one single cell and number two it also centers the text in that cell so that is taken care of now if i want i can format this for example i can make it bold so having selected groceries list i can just make it bold uh, if I want, I can, you know, uh, maybe change the uh, font color to red. If I click on this arrow, uh, I can choose a different color if I wish. So maybe I'll choose blue here. So I can call it, you know, I can change the color. Next, uh, I would like to change the font of these headings here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to make them bold and italics. I'd like to make their background into something nice. So maybe I'll make it into uh this light orange like this here so i can change the format to make it look nicer now another thing you see here is this total amount here is kind of sticking out of this cell but it's actually very much within the cell it's not in the adjacent cell so if i take my cursor to the adjacent cell you can see that there's nothing in the cell it's empty but this cell here contains a total amount um, text in it so you can make this text here appear completely within the cell by just extending this line over here like this you can extend this line like this or another way to extend this line is to just double click on this uh, so you take uh, the cursor between the e and the f column headings like this and you see it becomes like this peculiar plus sign and then you just double click on it and then it'll shift uh, to the right so that the entire text and other items within that particular column are um, uh, appearing completely within the column another thing you can do is you can also change the size of uh, each row so you can make a row uh, taller or shorter you can do that as well so I can do it like this now if you if you do this to a row you'll see that immediately uh, for example if I do this uh, all the text appears at the bottom what if you want it to appear at the top instead so what you can do is you can select it all like this and take the uh, mouse to the uh, alignment group over here and you see you can align each cell any way you want so one of the things you can do is right now it's aligned to be at the bottom of each cell so you can change this to be at the top of each cell so it becomes like this and um, now if you look at the actual content uh, you can also change the left center or right alignment so for example bread is left aligned so bread is left aligned this dollar two is right aligned they're all in different alignment so if you if you like to keep it that way that's fine but if you want you can change the alignment so i can make it all left aligned like this um, so that way you can change the alignment of this. so that's a brief overview and of course if you don't like anything you can always uh, go back up here and you can uh, undo everything you did and excel will take you back to the original situation so that uh, nothing is lost and uh, whenever you're done with your work you should always be sure to save your work so you should save your work and it'll ask you for a name so you know please be sure to give it my 
I'm just giving it a name here and choose a suitable location and save it. So that's a brief overview of the different features of Excel. And uh, as you can see, uh, it says that auto save is on. Um, so that means that you don't actually have to click the save button every time. It's just going to automatically save it. So that's a nice feature as well. So uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, thanks. For